Naruto, 10 Harsh Realities of the Kanoha Eleven The Kanoha Eleven is a group consisting of Naruto his ninja peers who have faced many hardships together. The Kanoha Eleven was a group of shinobi who were assembled toward the end of the first part of the Naruto series. This group included the main Kanoha ninja from Naruto Uzumaki's generation, with the exception of Sasuke Uchiha, who had left the village to join Orochimaru when it was formed. Led by Shikamaru Nara, the members of the Kanoha Eleven have been influential in the Naruto series over the years. Even in the Fourth Great Ninja War, they played a key role when fighting against Abito and Madara Uchiha. Although they're incredible to watch, being a member of the Kanoha Eleven has its own downsides. 10. The Kanoha Eleven Lost a Friend in Sasuke when the Kanoha Eleven was established, Sasuke had already left the village at this point. Ideally, he would have been a part of the group as one of their strongest and smartest ninja. Sadly, the group couldn't stop Sasuke from leaving the village. While Sasuke did eventually return, it wasn't until years later. By that time, the group had already suffered quite a lot due to Sasuke's absence. 9. The Kanoha Eleven Failed Their Mission to Rescue Sasuke When Sasuke left the village, Tsunade, the fifth Hokage of the village, established the Sasuke Retrieval Unit, which included most members from the Kanoha Eleven. In essence, the Kanoha Eleven attempted to save Sasuke and stop him from leaving the village, but the group failed to do so. Naruto and Sasuke fought at the Valley of the End, but Sasuke ultimately won the battle and left the village afterward. Being a member of Kanoha Eleven meant bearing the burden of failing to save a friend. 8. Shikamaru Nara Failed His Very First Mission as a Chunin Shikamaru was the only ninja from Kanahagakur who became a Chunin during the first exams. As such, when the Sasuke retrieval team was established, he was at the forefront of the unit and led them to bring Sasuke back. Sadly, the group failed and characters like Niji almost died in their fights. Shikamaru bore the responsibility on his shoulders alone and had to live with failure. Being the leader of such a group wasn't easy. 7. The group couldn't get to Itachi before Sasuke did. When Sasuke was known to be on the move, Tsunade formed another squad consisting of most members of Kanoha Eleven, and their goal was to stop Itachi Uchiha to get Sasuke back. While the group certainly tried their hardest, they weren't able to capture Itachi, and their plan ended in failure once again. Unfortunately, being a part of Kanoha Eleven meant living with multiple failures. 6. The Kanoha Eleven had nobody experienced to look up to among them. Although the Kanoha Eleven had a great bunch of young shinobi, they lacked experience when it came to acting as a unit. Without a proper jonin leader, the group didn't have anyone to guide them and make sure they didn't fail. Niji became a jonin during the time skip, but he was still very inexperienced when it came to leading people. Not having someone to stand in the front made their lives much harder. 5. The Kanoha Eleven didn't get much stronger later in the story. The Kanoha Eleven consisted of some of the strongest characters in the entire story, but some members experienced less growth than others. While it is true that they improved with time, some characters, such as Tenten, Ino, and Kiba, didn't see much growth throughout the series. Others, like Naruto and Sakura, became significantly stronger and left most members in the dust. For some reason, a lot of their members stagnated with time. 4. The Kanoha Eleven members realized they needed to kill Sasuke. One of the harshest and most difficult decisions at the Kanoha Eleven faced was about Sasuke. Sasuke was once their friend and ally. But he became a threat to Kanahagakur and had attacked multiple other people at the time. The Kanoha Eleven came to the conclusion that Sasuke could no longer be saved peacefully. To protect the village and all the people living there, Sasuke had to be eliminated, 
and the Kanoha Eleven considered it to be their responsibility since they were quite close to him. 3. The Kanoha Eleven had to fight against all odds in the Fourth Great Ninja War. Fighting in the Fourth Great Ninja War was a difficult task for any shinobi, regardless of how strong they were. The Kanoha Eleven spent a long time on the battlefield, and as expected, they struggled a lot. The White Zetsu caused them a lot of problems, and being outnumbered certainly didn't help their cause. It wasn't until Naruto ended the war that they could finally breathe a sigh of relief. 2. The Kanoha Eleven had to witness Niji's death. To protect Naruto and Hinata, Niji ended up throwing himself into harm's way and dying in the Fourth Great Ninja War. The entire Kanoha Eleven was there. Yet they could do nothing to save him from this tragedy. For the group, this was definitely one of the hardest things to witness. Thankfully, Naruto's determination was fueled by Niji's death. And the Shinobi Alliance stood strong behind him. 1. The Kanoha Eleven suffered from a lack of characterization. Although the Kanoha Eleven members were incredible in the earlier parts of the story, many of them started to lack characterization over time. The likes of Naruto and Sasuke were focused on so much that every other character didn't get much time to shine. While they had their moments every now and then, the Kanoha Eleven could have all benefited from having a little bit more screen time and development.